This is Higher Homework, it's the Unit 2 Extension work, and we're looking at question 11b. Okay, question 11b, and we've got to solve the equation that we're given, and the range is between 0 and 360 degrees included. I'll use a calculator for this one here, but um, again, similar to what I did in uh, question 11a, I'm going to be looking at a complex curve again. So, and the complex curve looks something like this here. Okay, and what I'm looking to do is to try and solve this equation when y is equal to 0. So that would be where it cuts through the axis here. So I'm looking like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I'm looking for 5 solutions to, to come out of this uh, piece of work that I do. So I'll revisit this uh, graph towards the end. Right, so the first thing I'm going to do is remember, break it down into the, the sine and the cosine. Uh, information that we already know and that we've worked with before. And what I'll do is I'll use the, the formula sheet for this. So again, I've got sine 2x. So the good thing with sine 2x is that there's only one expansion for it. So that's 2 sine x cos x. So what we'll do is I'm, this 2 here is going to be sitting on the outside. And then what I'm going to do is replace sine 2x with 2 sine x cos x, close that bracket, I've got minus sine x here, and that all equals zero. So then what I'll do is I'll, I'll go ahead and solve this equation. Right, so I'll multiply that out first, the, the two, so, so that's going to give me four sine x cosine x minus sine x. And similarly to, to what I had to do over here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out a common factor. The common factor that I'm taking out is going to be sine x, so that's going to be 4 cosine x that's left in there, minus 1 equals 0. Right, so again, I'm going to have two solutions that will be coming out here, or two equations for me. So 2x equals sine x equals 0, coming from there. And from this side here, I've got uh, 4 cosine x minus 1 equals 0. So cosine x is going to be equal to, take the 1 over first of all, if you want to take it in stages, Divide it by the 4, which will give me cosine x is equal to a quarter. Now what I'll do with sine x equaling 0, I'm going to look at a graph to try and sort that out. So if I just think about the sine graph, which goes up from there to there to there. Okay, I know that that's going to be 0, that's going through at 180, and that's finishing off at 360 there. So whenever I've got 1, minus 1 or 0... Um, all I'm going to do is I'm going to think about the graph because it makes it easier for me to work that through. Right, let's write down the solutions at this side. So I've got x is equal to 0. I've got 180. And I've got 360 degrees. So that's my solutions coming from the left-hand side of this, uh, this equation here. What I'll do here is I'll uh, then look at the uh, cast table for this one. All sine tan cos. Cosine is a positive, so if it's a positive value that's in there, I know that it lies in where all the angles are positive, and where cosine is positive, because cosine is positive a quarter. So that's where my two solutions are going to come out. Always work out the acute angle first of all, so let's do that. So my acute angle is going to be equal to the inverse cosine of a quarter. Okay, so if I just bring a calculator out for that one there, so what I'll do is I'll just uh, do shift cosine, and what I'll do is I'll just do 1 divided by 4. If you usually put a fraction in, you can do that, or 0 0.25, that would be fine. So my answer there, I'll just take it to one decimal place, that's 75.5 degrees, so that's the acute angle. I'm then going to work out my quadrant 4 angle. And the quadrant 4 angle is going to be equal to 360 degrees. So remember, in there, and we subtract the acute angle that we worked out. And that's what I'm going to get from there. So if I subtract that from there, I get 284.5 degrees. Okay, so that, that would be the solutions that uh, I'd be using here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just gather them all up as my solutions. So my solutions are... And I've got x is equal to, so I'm going to go with them in order, so I've got 0 degrees, I've then got the 75.5 degrees, I've got 180 degrees over here, I've then got the 284.5 degrees, and finally I've got 360 degrees. 
Okay, so remember from the graph, I was looking for five solutions. So if I just have a quick look at that again, we'll just have a quick look at the graph. And normally you wouldn't be asked to look at a graph of this sort here, but uh, just to confirm, this is what we've got. So we've got the point zero, we've got the 180, and we've got the 360, and the points in the middle, the 75.5 and the 284.5, just in there. So that would be my five solutions that I've got from that graph. So let's go and mark this one here. So first mark I'm going to give is for substituting incorrectly there and making sure that the 2 is sitting outside a bracket there. Or if you've got 4 sine x, cosine x, I'd give, give the mark for that one there. Okay, we'll get uh, a further mark for getting, let's go for this one here. Okay, so that's going to be one mark there, one mark for taking out a common factor after you've multiplied it out by four. Uh, we'll get uh, one mark for getting the sine x equals zero and also the cosine x is equal to a quarter. That's just one mark all the way across there. Get one mark for the solutions over here. I'll go for, let's see, we'll go for, go for one mark for getting this one here and let's just go for one mark here for getting all the solutions together, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, we'll go for six marks on this one here, and that should give me marks out of six. In fact, let me reconsider that one there again. I want to just make it uh, consistent with what we have over here, although there is a, a bit of a more complexity if we're multiplying it by two. Uh, let's see. Right, so I'm going to take this mark away here. So that one's not going to be a mark. I'm going to give a mark just for multiplying that out and making sure that we've got that in a form that we can uh, we can then uh, take out a common factor. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five marks to there, and then this mark here is for six. So this one here is not a mark. Okay. And uh, that's uh, 11 part B out of, that was out of 6, wasn't it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, out of 6 marks.